Since November 1st, winter parking rules have been in effect in the city of Coon Rapids. This means overnight parking is not allowed on any city street during the winter months, which helps the streets department stay ahead of the game in the battle against snow. A big part of my job in the winter time is paying attention to the weather. As the snow falls outside, inside, street supervisor Josh Peterson tracks the weather. I use multiple channels, apps, um, resources to try and figure out uh, when the snow may be coming in, the amount of snow, the amount of precip, um, the length it's going to be. 2018 marked Peterson's first year on the job in Coon Rapids. Last year we had 14 what we call full snowplow events. That entails leading up to the event that we've already made the decision that we're going to call in a full crew. That consists of all of our large plows, cul-de-sac plows, and sidewalk machines. Inside the city garage, trucks are turned into snow plows. These plow trucks are the city's front line of defense. We have 12 plow trucks. Um, we have 11 plow routes, so we do keep a spare truck for breakdown. Um, we use three front end loaders to do cul-de-sacs. As a proactive measure in the battle against winter, the winter parking ban in Coon Rapids was passed by city ordinance some 40 years ago. The rules are in effect from November 1st through April 1st. No parking is allowed on the street from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Parking is also prohibited on public streets any time when the weather forecast shows there could be three inches of snow or more or until the street has been plowed from curb to curb. Because we never know when a storm's going to come through. Some people may be on vacation, they may think they can leave their car there. If we didn't enforce a two to six parking, we would certainly run into more problems than we already have. And when you're pre-wetting, you don't want to go fast because you want uh, the spray to make a nice pattern on the road. Public Works employee Bill Neek has spent the past 10 years working on the city streets. He knows the challenges and, uh, snowplow drivers face very, firsthand. Kind of like right here where this guy has his truck parked out, you have to turn the plow, work your way around. Now I'm getting bumped up on the curb on the other side to get around it. And basically my front tire is up against the other side of the curb. If a vehicle is blocking the path of a snow plow after an accumulation of three inches of snow or more, it may be ticketed and or towed. Parking can resume on the street once it has been plowed from curb to curb, but still no parking from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. between November and April 1st. A lot of times we will try giving warnings, but um, if there's a major snow event and we need to get through somewhere, um, the police will ticket and they will also tow at the owner's expense. In cases where there's a snowfall of less than three inches, the city will still have plows out. Anything less than three inches, we typically focus on our arterial roads, which are our main connector streets to county roads and state highways. When people park in the street during a snowfall, it can cause storm drainage problems, or even worse, hazardous bumps in the road. Anytime there's an upcoming potential of a snow event, we would ask that residents do everything they can to not park in the street. It's a team effort for all of us to do our part to make it through another winter. I mean, it helps out with multiple, multiple issues. Um, we're able to get out there, we're able to plow curb to curb, we're able to plow salt um, and other materials to have a clear roadway. For anyone who parks in the street during a snow event, the streets department will be handing out these yellow flyers as a reminder of the winter parking rules and to ask for your help. You can also sign up on the city's website to receive emails on the latest snow plowing updates when crews will be doing a full plow in residential areas.